Right, uh, we've travelled uh, far too far, around about three odd hours, um, to come down to Aldershot today to the um, computer, re or was it retro computer uh, festival mini tournament uh, dynamics turbo edition um, sort of event at the uh, Garden Gate uh, pub. Uh, it's basically like a high scores tournament uh, where there'll be six games and we all have to play them. Um, and it's basically done on a sort of percentage base and the highest percentage of the day is the winner, fingers crossed. Um, and there'll also be um, some sort of homebrew um, Amstrad CPC 464 um, submarine game as well you have to play. There'll be a few other systems as well. So again, never been to an event like this one before. Um, so we're going today, me... And Joe, say hello Joe. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, gonna go in now and uh, in the middle of the rain and uh, see what it's all about. So we'll catch you inside. So uh, in the rain, here it is then, the Garden Gates pub, the Retro Games Festival here, Saturday, free entry, food is available. Right, so let's get inside, see what it's all about. Okay, this is inside the Garden Gate then, this is the main bar area. Uh, split into two sides, uh, gaming on both sides. Um, got a nice sort of array of machines, and then in the back here, we've got a uh, another room uh, full of uh, sort of arcade machines and other systems. Also outside, there was a garden area with a load of handhelds. Uh, some nice systems on the day again. There things like the Twin Famicom, got the uh, Neo Geo AES. Uh, later on, the guys had a full rock band setup going on. Uh, again, some classics there like the Benetone. And of course, the mighty Vectrex was present. Okay, game one, a uh, fast paced shooter from 1980. It was Centipede on the Atari 2600. Okay, game two then was Sub Hunter on the Amstrad. Um, this is quite a cool little sort of side along um, submarine shoot em up. Uh, we worked out how to uh, clock a few extra points on the first uh, sort of level. Um, but yeah, quite a good game, and a bottle of things uh, only actually just been released. Okay, game three, a uh, classic for '96. It's Afterburner 2 on the Sega Saturn. Okay, game four then was Crazy Taxi, uh, controversially on the PS2, not the Dreamcast. Uh, this game did seem to actually stump quite a few people. Uh, people that were getting good scores on other games seem to uh, struggle quite a bit with Crazy Taxi. Okay, game five then was Tempest on the ZX81, uh, a game that you definitely had to have a few goes at to get used to it, but again, once you got into a rhythm, you could uh, rack up quite a good score. And game six, which was a separate little challenge, was a homebrew game, uh, another submarine game, uh, which was Depth Charge on the Amstrad. Oh, it's a slow. Oh, he kicked a guy. Joe, what did you make? It was, it was emotional. And what did you make? Some crazy money. <laughs> Class B license. That's the best score all day long. The same winner from the last competition. We have Mutau in the number three. If you like to cover, I've got some more crap for you. <laughs> you didn't read the original. Hey! <laughs> right, well, this is a nice sponsor's a kick. 
Right, so next up in number two. Number two, in fact, I think he was leading for a while, but unfortunately, he's not picked up the post. UK Retro Game Addict, number two, in second. Never mind. A round of applause. <laughs> so, a right, round of applause for each other. Second place. Which brings us to our winner of the competition today. With a percentage score overall. So 422.53. Which means he did very good. Because it's out of six. Well, that's out of 500, isn't it? That's very good indeed. <laughs> Is Martin Deem? Where's Martin Deem? Here he is. Here he is. Off the Jammer Plus forums. He's an RT King. Doesn't count. Well done. Right, just got back from older shop then, uh, and let's have a quick look at uh, some of the prizes I won today. Uh, so first I've uh, got this uh, stunning Kick Energy bag, and uh, inside there, some more Kick related products. Got a uh, inflatable chair, we've also got a uh, little cool bag as well, and then I've got a Replay uh, magazine, uh, also one uh, quite a nice looking Fable 2 strategy guide. Uh, then I did a little uh, trade off actually with uh, the guy Martin D who won um, for this sort of uh, promotional PS3 controller. Um, it's quite like the uh, 360 controller in sort of feel. I, I don't get on too well with the uh, original PS3 controllers. Um, this one's got quite a nice sort of analog stick, but a bit like the uh, Neo Geo CD. So these six buttons on your bumpers. So again, that might never even get made. I don't know if it will or not. So that's quite cool to have that in the uh, in the collection. And oops, also, um, I've got this cool T-shirt from uh, E3, uh, which is the uh, Aliens Colonial Marines T-shirt. And then on the front there, it's got piece through superior firepower with the uh, pulse rifle on as well so uh, I really like Aliens so that's uh, pretty pretty stoked with that and I got that um, so yeah all in all today uh, had a really good day you know it was a you know uh, enjoyable day time passed pretty quickly actually um, and you know I thought it was a good event uh, nicely organized good selection of games uh, on the systems uh, again, thanks to Matt for sort of putting it on, and you know he did his own program to um, you know log all the high scores on. So that's a pretty cool you know achievement that he did that himself. Um, again, you know nice friendly people down at the pub today. Um, you know all the locals sort of just fitting in with all the gaming and stuff that was going on. Um, uh, yeah, met some cool people, and again you know well done to uh, uh, Mutan. Uh, Jonathan who came third, uh, myself second and Martin Dean uh, who came first. Again that guy was awesome, he came from out the blue um, but he just tore apart that competition, he was really good. Uh, but after we, um, after he did win he did uh, sort of confess that he's sort of slightly come out of retirement because um, he said he did uh, come second place in the Sega European Championships back in like 1990 or 91 so basically you know if a, a Sega pretty much European champion uh, beats me in a competition I'm you know pretty fine with that um, so that's about it thanks again for watching and uh, I'll catch you guys soon with some more reviews that's it man game over man it's game over <laughs>